it says here, uh, two shapes of black cat's hiss. One dash of powdered fairy wing. An ounce of crushed mermaid scale. Ghost screams to taste. One skeleton of an ex-best friend. No, I'm like totally your friend. You can trust me. And now my personal touch. One Maho Shoujo manga. So I can stay cute and not get warts or a crooked nose. I feel it working. <laughs> How long have I been out? Lumina! Oh my god. I can't believe this. I'm... and welcome to the Jacob Hexa channel. If you're one of my negative eight returning subscribers, I'm the realist. <laughs> so today we're gonna be doing a sort of cute anime take on the classic Green Witch. I wanted to switch it up since last year I did sort of a drag look and this time I'm gonna be doing something a little more cute, anime-like. This look is heavily influenced by the big eye makeup that's been popularized by people like Hungry the Drag Queen or Miss Gay Matt. But without further ado, let's get into the makeup. All right, so first things first, we're going to prime with our Benefit Professional or your primer of choice. All right, now that we've covered up pretty much all the space that we want to be green, we're gonna take that damn beauty sponge and we're gonna just blend it out. All right, and now that we've got that green blended out for the most part, we're actually gonna go ahead and take a white shade highlight our face and we're also going to use it as an eyeshadow base area around the eyes all right now that we've established where we want our highlights on our face we're going to go ahead and take that same blending sponge and blend it out Perfect, now that we've got all that down, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take my flash color palette and take the white shade from there. I know it looks a hot mess, but I'm gonna take the white shade from there. I'm gonna lay that down on my eyelids. Right, now we're gonna take actually just a clean sponge. I'm using one of these little cheap disposable cosmetic sponges, damp, and we're going to blend out the edges and just get a nice seamless blend without making it too green. You might not be able to avoid it, but try. All right, so now that we pretty much blended that out to where we want, we're gonna go ahead and take a translucent, no color powder. I'm using the RCMA colorless powder. You can use the NYX HD, anything you want. We're gonna just go ahead and take a loose powder and bake everything. Let's start with those eyes. We don't want it to crease. Go under the eyes again, we don't want it to crease. We're gonna just pound that into the skin. All right, y'all, looks finished. <laughs> now that we pretty much set every inch of this makeup and press it into the skin, we're gonna go ahead and just immediately dust it off lightly. All right, so now I'm gonna take a nude eye pencil. I'm personally using the Technicol liner in the color Bare Acid from MAC. And I just like it because it's one of those little I'm sure NYX has one like this. I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the shape of the eye that we want. So for this particular look, I've decided to do sort of like a candy corn color with pink and purple still kind of incorporated in there with the rest of the look you'll see later because I did make my own wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this Juvia's Place palette. I'm gonna go into this orange shade here. And we're going to just start to pack that on the lid. You guys, I almost forgot. You're going to just want to take a little bit of your powder. Set that right here. 
because you don't want the fallout ruining your base. We're gonna go ahead and blend that out with this yellow shade here. Don't be afraid to carry it out even farther. The trick to a seamless blend is to just go back and forth between the colors until you're happy with what you've got. Then we're actually going to take that yellow and sort of pack it right next to where we laid down that orange. Now we're going to go in with a dense sort of packer brush and we're going to take just a bright pink color of your choice. I'm personally using this pink shade from the Urban Decay's Electrix palette. Then we're going to take that same blender brush and just kind of blend it right into that orange. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and follow where we drew that bottom lash line. Take that pink color. So now that we've kind of done that, we're going to go ahead and take an even like tighter brush and go in with just a slight smidgen of purple. Alright, so if you've been to this channel before, I think you know what's coming next. A cut crease! Oh. So we're gonna go ahead and take a white cream shade. We're gonna cut out the crease. I promise, it starts looking worse before it gets better. <laughs> now that we've set that down, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just take a trusty, dusty blending brush. I'm gonna just take that yellow shade, blend it into this white. The ghetto! Okay, so this makeup looks really bad, but sis, it is what it is. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that white um, cream and we're going to carve out the shape of our new eyes. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and fill in the little pupil area with a color of your choice. Mine's gonna be purple. All right, now that we've kind of laid down the groundwork for this makeup, we're gonna go ahead and do some shading and highlighting to really bring your eye to life. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and do the top liner. I'm gonna take my trusty old NYX Epic Liner. Now that we've got all that fun stuff done, we're gonna go in with mascara. I'm gonna use my favorite, the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. You can use what you'd like, but you do need to use it. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of light contouring, blushing, and highlighting. We're gonna take a nice little brush like this. We're gonna take our cream palette. We're gonna mix up a purple color. We're gonna just draw our eyebrows in. All right, now that we've drawn on our cute little Lolita eyebrows, we're gonna go ahead in and go in with some lashes. I'm taking some lashes that I actually made myself. I just stacked a couple pairs and feathered them out. Gonna use our duo lash glue. All right, and the last and final step is lips. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the wig and the costume and I'll be right back. I'm gonna keep it so real right now. I am pretty proud of this. I think this came out really well.
especially being that I've never really done makeup like this before. Oh, look when I squint. <laughs> it looks like it's my eyes. It's crazy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's a few makeup looks that I'm actually going to just have on my Instagram rather than YouTube just because it's a little less hassle to just be able to do it and post a picture. So if you'd like to keep up on all my Halloween stuff, go ahead and check me out at Jacob Hexa on Instagram. Also, I did make this wig. I did make these arm socks poorly, but I made them. <laughs> if you like a tutorial on the wig or the arm socks, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out my other witchy ween videos, even the ones from last year. You guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your spooky season. I'll see you next time. Jane.